Hey, welcome back. We are dominating the top of the league now. We are nine points clear. So, yeah, let's roll on. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League Two. It's Accrington Stanley against Morecambe. So midway through the season and they're top of the table. They need to keep on winning. Can they do that? So without further ado, can. let's head for the far northwest of England and Accrington. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Welcome oh, get everyone too to today's match. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. And the conditions might just uh, shape the game that we're going to see today because the pitch has taken a bit of a pounding from the rain. It has, and uh, it's a on you, Martin. You might have to out there, but uh, let's hope we do get some excitement because uh, a skiddy surface, a wet one, normally does lead to chances at both ends. The line-up for the home side. I think it's going to be a fun game. This is the lineup for the away side. Well, great interest here, of course, locally because of the geography of the two sides. They know each other's game so well, they live in the same parish. That's a formation I prefer to play in. Standard 4 4 2. First class to get to 29 goals, and uh, he'll hope to get to 30 and beyond with the time that remains. Oh, I think when you get to this stage, you just want to kick on and get as many as possible because there's a chance he could achieve his best ever. Accrington Stanley, how well they played in their previous game to win away against Exeter City. Yeah, 3-0, comfortable for them, and uh, they're flying at the moment. I think they'll win again. Well, no wonder we're picking him out at the start because he's been in terrific form. What a player. Oh, yeah, he's uh, he has been in a terrific kind of form, and uh, you'd expect that to continue here. Scott McBeany is the man with the whistle. Let's go. At last, after all the build-up, the game starts. Last. No wish there to try and uh, deceive the referee. All credit to the player. Cross coming in now. And that cross knocked away by the defender. That's a good. Past his man there. We well, could be in. Here's the chance. <laughs> That's another goal from a player that they brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. Painful, yeah? That's my 30th goal. That goal. from the goalkeeper, but uh, I'll take it. Early goals, very important in matches, they open them up and this one's only taken seven minutes to come. Can he turn away from the challenge here? Now from up. Northampton. It's a goal for Northampton Town. Ten minutes played, one nil. Thanks, Alan. Shit. Okay, um. yes, this could be no. a chance. Did well to stop that. Tackle goes in. Oh, thank you very much. Beanie, the official has seen something Send he doesn't like here. Red card, yeah, red card. That's going to be a yellow card for this player. We can't have any complaints. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just as fraction off. Stop missing around. Let's 
straightforward stop from an effort from a long, long way out. Yeah, you've got to try these things, haven't you? You've got to try these things. Interception made, but with any great difficulty. It's a good play to intercept there. Read the intentions of the attacker very well indeed. It's a bit messy out there, isn't it? Confidence is too high. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Goal news from South End. It's a goal for Carlisle United. 30 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, and it's Wilson. And it's Williams. It's now he can there. cross it. Oh, oh crap. Thank you. Well, I had to do that right. That would have been a penalty on Rush. And it's Williams. Tackle goes in. He can't keep the ball. Chance to put it in the box from here. Should have gone down. Tries his luck. <laughs> it's a miss. And an unexpected one considering the quality of the player, Alan. Yeah, it is. He's not done that too often lately, I have to say. He's been in fine form in front of goal. It's a very tight game between these two on the home ground of the team that's the visiting team today. I wonder whether it will be similar today after a goalless draw, but Damn don't be surprised it. looking at the talent on view. Come on, we normally get two games the same, and as you say, there's uh, there's enough players out there to break the deadlock. Now Bell. That means Bell. Oh my God, what are you doing? That's a red card, surely. The home team about <laughs> to make a change. Everybody's falling over. <laughs> In with a chance. Get it out. Get it out. Get it. Oh, man. That's half time. So. Signal by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. <sighs> Uh, well, that here we are at half time, and the main topic of conversation is a sad one, really the injury. Yeah, it is sad, and uh, I have to feel, Martin, that the conditions played a part. Um, if it wasn't so wet on the surface, maybe he wouldn't have gone to ground, and his momentum took him through. That was the thing, and he's hurt himself as a result. So we reach half time with a score 1 0. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half, and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the rest of the match. Bloody hurts me go over your ankle. It's just like, ah. Uh... Oh, that's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. I got it onto my left foot for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why I wanted to put it on my left foot. I'm a right footed player, so. Oh, it's gonna end up. Kick off here for the start of the second half. 
Southampton away game. Pass his marker. He's into the challenge. Oh, in goes the cross. Oh, that's a good interception. Good defensive player there. Yes. He's got space. <laughs> Needs to be very nippy. The ref blows for the free kick. What? They're what? hard to find good goal scorers, but they look as though they've got one here. He's really impressed in his first season at this football club. Yeah, and even when he's not scoring, he, he does contribute to, to the team with his work rate. Yeah. Now Williams. A timely challenge. Substitution the home side want to make. Uh, Here's the chance. Not a yep. decisive save. Should have booted it out. It's gone out for a throw in. Substitution on the field. Well, it's going to be a substitution now. No luck. Not too happy about that. And it's a header. In the end, it's nowhere near the target. Goal news now from South End. It's a second goal for Carlisle United. 61 minutes played. Oh, he's through. Got to be. Well, there. A too goal too early. And now they've got a corner here. It's a little bit too early. can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Thank you very much. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, and he's going on beyond the slide away. tackle. In a goal, in with a chance. Might have even touched the bar on the way over. <laughs> Substitution now to keep the team on their toes and to keep this lead, they hope. Challenge, and, they... and the referee says that's a free kick. Oh, come on, oh, come on, boy. Take time, ref. in the finishing that's why they're trailing really but it could have been level yes. taken into orbit Jesus. I'm sure one day that ball will return to earth goal news from Plymouth it's a third goal for Oxford United 73 minutes played 3-0 thanks Alan To throw. <laughs> no, I think 
a bit of a foul there, but there you go. Oh my god, I didn't really do on. that. Dumbass. It's his ball. <laughs> Anybody want to get in the box? No? Okay, I'll do it myself. That's it's dead. Clearance. And it's going to be his throw here. Too slow. And off comes the forward who's not got very far forward today. I think the defenders have had him in their pockets. Yeah, I mean, he ran around, but the quality wasn't there. When the ball was played up, he couldn't hold it up. His touch let him down far too often. free kick and the game's not over yet well it's nip and tuck here Alan isn't it they've got the lead the fans are backing them to the hilt the other team are coming right at them well it'd be a fantastic result this you know because they have played extremely well oh. good tackle yes fuck you does anybody want to get in the box Simple chance. I think he took it a little too easy, a bit too casual. A bit too casual. Five minutes extra time. Jeez. And it's Williams. Oh. Ah no. Get your shit together. Gonna cross it. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting the attack. <sighs> Final score here, one nil. Yeah. One nil. Job done. Well, they've got the lock. They've got the win against their bitter rivals today, their local rivals. Splendid satisfaction. Oh yeah, I mean the build up to this match has been endless it seems. So a lot of pressure on both sides for the winners now. Total glory. So it's full time with the final score one nil. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. Spectacular, but um... On we march. On we march. Until next time. Adios.